Alright boys, welcome back to another tutorial. And I got to thinking to myself, when I when someone asked me to learn how, how I like practiced air dribbling or learned air dribbling or how I practiced it or like give me tips or something, I pretty much just say practice because that's what you gotta do, work it out. But I got to thinking today, when I say practice, do you actually know what I mean by practice? Now I feel like my version of practicing is different from other people, and I'll show you what I mean. So for example, we're gonna just go on this training pack that I just made today. This is an identi identical uh, training pack to my Xbox Air Dribble training pack. The ball's in the middle of the field and I was behind it. Now I actually went on my Xbox today and tried to find the training pack, but I realized that when you uninstall something, the cloud does not save your training packs. So my like 50 something training packs on Xbox that I all practiced on that I was gonna show you guys all got lost. So, I'll just explain how to practice in more detail, or at least try to. So this is pretty much the training pack I used, right? It was me sitting here, and dribbling the ball, double jumping up, and air rolling, and you know, practicing on how to air dribble for hours on end. But, I did it in a different way. I practiced, in my opinion, a different way than everyone else would. For example, when I would mess up, now obviously, back then I wasn't like God when I don't mess up at all. But when I mess up, like, let's say this, right? I didn't air roll enough. I look at myself because I didn't know what I did wrong. I look at myself from a third person perspective and I'd be like, just like someone sitting next to me, like they know what they're doing and they were telling me what I was doing wrong, but there was no one next to me. I look at myself from a third person perspective and be like, what did I do wrong? I play that clip back in my head and I'd be like, okay, right there, I did not air roll right enough. So what I do again, right? This is exactly what I do. Right? I'd be like, okay, let's see what I need to air roll. I'd air roll this much. Over air rolling, pretty much. I'd over air roll, and my brain would then be like, okay, this is too little. That's too much. Let's do right in between that. And then, after that, i just learn so fast. Now, this would go with anything. Let's say I didn't boost enough, or let's say I didn't, you know, uh, air roll, or I leaned too far down, or too far up. I'd be like, okay... If I lean too far up, I'd be like, let's lean too far down. And then immediately, at least how my brain works, is I would pretty much almost instantly find the sweet spot on how far you should push your stick forward or backwards. And it's obviously when you wake up the next day, you wouldn't have that as muscle memory. So you have to repeat that over and over until that turned into muscle memory. But now to get the best rep like uh, the, the best example, let's try to learn a mechanic that I don't know yet. Now, obviously, I know most flicks, and I know a lot of dumb stuff. So we're just going to go into training, and we're going to learn a mechanic. So what's something I don't know? Okay, uh, like the Muri thing, I guess. The backflip thing. So, the backflip thing, like off the ceiling that Muri does. Let's learn this. I've never done it before. Okay, so obviously, you got to get more under it. The ball's got to be extremely high. Because if the ball's not high when you backflip, then it's not going to actually, you're not, you're going to either be just hit the ball like I just did, or you're going to be too under it if it's too high. So you want to have that very close to the ceiling, but not touch the ceiling. Ceiling shot set up like this, pretty much. You lean back. Okay, so you're, you got to be lower. Okay. And obviously with a backflip, you have to be more, leaning farther than like up and down. So you have to be leaning like this or more to actually get the back backflip propulsion, or you're not going to actually backflip. It's like musty flip. You have to lean more than that or wait hold on you have to lean more than that much to be able to musty flick it forward so let's try to do this again good ceiling shot setup that wasn't very high but we'll still try it lean back oh i did I get it okay just like that just like that in less than like two minutes i learned how to do this mechanic just by talking to my pretty much talking to my brain and telling myself what i did wrong and what i have to do to improve that now, obviously, if you have a mechanical player background and you're really familiar with how long it takes to flip your car in, like, a 360 and all of these different, like, uh, like things you should know or you, things that you know. Like, if you know how long it takes to front flip and, like, corner flip or whatever, that's going to help you a lot because you're familiar with how long it takes you. So, obviously, with me having, you know, 4,000 hours almost now, you know, I'm going to have a lot more precision when it comes to learning stuff but also i feel like it's not only like how many hours you have in the game because if you don't care about the game and you don't actually like put the hours in to train 
or mast or something, you're not going to be able to do it, even if you're squishing at 15,000 hours or 10,000 hours or whatever he has. So, you've got to learn and use techniques to learn it as fast as you can. Like, that's what I do with everything. Like, what's another mechanic I don't know how to do? Like, what? Like, isn't there that dumb two-wheel drift thing? Okay, let's, let's, let's learn another mechanic just for the video, right? So, two-wheel drift thing, right? I, like, don't know how to do it. I tried to do it back in like 2018 or whatever when it was like popular, but I never got it down. I did it for like five minutes and that's it. Okay, so I'm already realizing that this thing, when you're supersonic, you have a trail, right? So, from what I've seen, when you're on your two wheels, you do not want to have your uh, boost or your throttle on because you're actually not controlling it from side to side. You're controlling it as in you're in the air. You're pretty much tricking the game, I think. I think hold on I think you're pretty much tricking the game into believing that it's in the air because if that's so then you're gonna have to control it different yes so okay as you can see when you're supersonic you have a trail right and when you're holding the gas on the wall like this is pretty much what it thinks it is when you hold, when you're not holding the gas on the wall you slide but when you hold it you you know don't slide so pretty much what this is telling me is when you're on your two wheels it's registering as at least when you're doing the drift, you're not actually on your wheels, right? You're actually just, or when you're actually doing it, you're actually registering as in you're in the air or it's tricking the game to believe that you're in there. So instead of using left and right to turn like you would normally would like left or left and right, you'd actually use up and down because it's actually thinking that you're in the air. So that's how you're going to turn because if you're sideways like this, then you're going to turn like that. Like, that's how you turn when you're on your two wheels. Okay. Okay, let me try to get this down then. So that's pretty much what that just told me there. Okay, okay, let's try this again. Okay, now that I'm stable and I'm on my two wheels, there's no supersonic trail. If you're stable and you're doing it right, then there's no trail. Just like that. So actually, okay, so literally, you just use forward and backwards and you land on your two wheels and you got the mechanic down pretty much. Like right there, I was bouncing, so it gave me a super sun trail. Right there, I'm not stable, and it's not on two wheels. So pretty much, you just got to use up and down on the stick. But just like that, I learned two mechanics in less than like three minutes. The, the, the technique I use is so good, in my opinion. Looking at yourself from a third-person perspective and being like, okay, if I did this too much, we're going to do it not enough. And then we're going to find that middle. And that's the easiest way to do it. Now, like I said, if you, it's obviously, you know, however your brain works. Some people's brain don't work as fast as some people's. Like, I've been told that I've been, like, gifted almost with, like, how fast I learn stuff. But I feel like it's more of the techniques I use than anything. And, uh, I feel like it's more techniques than actually being gifted. But, uh, if this has helped you, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you want to join our Discord server, it's all, it's, you know, full of people, like, 600 now. So, uh... If this has helped you in any way on practicing or anything like that, uh, let me know down in the comments. I try to read all of them, but we are moving soon, so it's kind of like stressful to do everything. So if I don't read your comment, don't get mad at me. Like I say, I respond to every uh, Discord message and Instagram message. So if you want to message me and talk to me, uh, we can do that. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the episode, you know, like, and I'll see you in the next one.